Peace family, it's your boy Tez, local financial ninja, providing everyday knowledge on personal finance and money matters. Long time no talk, I am back from vacation. Your boy is on his one of three class, however you say that, whatever. I'm on my, I just started class, I got two more left after this one, y'all. So one of three, my last classes, I'm gonna complete this MBA, knock it out. Um, Congratulations to everybody who's graduating right now. I know it's graduation season, so everybody who's graduating, man, getting those degrees, getting those diplomas, man, shouts out to y'all. I'm doing big things. Um, but yeah, as far as me, I'm back from vacation, man. Had a lot of good time decompressing, visiting my bro out there, man, and my sis. It was a good time out in Las Vegas, man. Um, but yeah, had a really good time. Um, <clears throat> what I want to talk about right now, though, is debt security. So just wanted to revisit this topic to let everybody know the different types or the distinguishment between types of securities and investments that you can go into. When I mean securities, I mean investments, basically. So debt instruments, debt securities, debt investments are anything in which you'll become the lender in a situation. So you're loaning money to the institution or to the person, the individual, the entity in return for some type of interest, you know? So when we're thinking about CDs, we're thinking about notes, treasury bills, um, personal loans, um, T-bills, well, that's treasury bills, T-bills, all those different products in which you're basically fixed. Those fixed debt securities, oftentimes they have a fixed rate, um, of what you'll get back and things like that, a fixed term, how much you have to have the money on deposit or the loan terms and things like that. Those are what we call debt securities, debt instruments, um, or yeah, those, those, those are the type of products that we're referring to. So in this situation for like a CD or a T bill or a note or a treasury bond or something like that, what you're doing is you're loaning the institution that money for them to use for your for whatever your interest rate is for a certain period of time they give you that back plus your interest sometimes with the cd like right now i'm in a cd and it just adds the interest right into the cd and it invest and it compounds and it reinvests into the cds for more for more um interest oftentimes with these debt securities since they're basically guaranteed since they're guaranteed um with investing of course nothing is guaranteed but often what these debt securities are focused around is the fact that it's guaranteed in the sense that if shit hits the fan, if if it gets really, really crazy and they can't repay, you'll damn, damn near have to liquidate the business or file bankruptcy or something, you know, for them not to have to pay that debt. So it's a secured debt um, oftentimes and it's guaranteed with that fixed rate. So because of that, it's lower volatility, lower risk, and it's a lower interest rate oftentimes. So if you look at the CD rates and things like that at your local bank, it only be a few points, a couple percents and stuff like that. Um, sometimes banks will hit you up and be like, yeah, we got a special for CDs. You'll be thinking that you're about to get a crazy ass interest rate and it'll be like 3%, which is like one of the recent ones I got into, but that's really good for CDs. I mean, you know, 3%, you don't see that a lot. So anytime that comes along, if you got any money to sit in your savings, go ahead, put some of that money in the CD and just make interest on it instead of having to sit and being offset by inflation and things like that. I know a lot of people say don't have savings or money just sitting in the bank because inflation and all of that, but you do got to have a rainy day fund. You have to have some liquid cash. So like whatever to those people, but yeah, um, peace, love, light and light y'all. I just want to touch on that. If you have any thoughts, questions, comments, on here hit me up below be sure to like the video share subscribe and remember that we lifting and we climbing in this journey to financial freedom i wish peace and love everything all of that to everybody happy friday y'all have a good one